everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Talk About Transformers. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Wei Zhang M09 Metal Edition Commander Leader, also previously known as Fire Scorpion, also also known as a third party masterpiece alike Bumblebee Movie Optimus Prime. Um, I'm shooting this review because I'm planning on selling this figure. It's a really great figure. I don't have a lot of issues with it. It's just too big to be in proper scale with my Transcraft Bumblebee. And I like uh, the way the other one transforms better even though it has some more inaccuracies. An upgrade kit by DNA Design is going to fix that hopefully. Um, at least mitigate some of them. And uh, as you guys might have known by this point, my uh, upload schedule got kind of messed up because I fast tracked this and my Transform Element Bumblebee Masterpiece reviews so I could review them before I sold them. Um, and then I decided on a review schedule of Mondays and Fridays around noon Eastern Central Time, or Eastern Time, I guess, I don't know why I said Central, Eastern Time, which for you on the West Coast would be 9 a.m. Uh, and then if you're between the East and the West Coast, it's going to be between 9 a.m. and noon for you, um, depending on how many hours uh, behind me you are. Uh, so I believe the way I did it is last Monday, Cheetor went up, then last Friday Bumblebee, then this Monday we just had was a Black Arachnia review, and then uh, this guy on Friday. I'm actually filming this review before the Black Arachnia one because I want to make sure that I uh, get it filmed in case someone decides to put a bid on it or purchase it. Anyway. Um, the only accessory he comes with for truck mode makes his trailer hitch, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but first, we'll go ahead and take a look at details. Front of the truck, it looks really good. Um, we got a bunch of fingerprints all over the windows. You can wipe those away just from transforming them. Um, some of this uh, gray is actually... Uh, scuffed on purpose to look messed up and some of it is just scuffs that I've done so it kind of uh, matches up all together. Nice white paint on the front, nice silver for the grill and the bumper and the lights um, are all silver. Got silver paint on the mirrors. The white stripe is very well proportionate around the truck. It all looks pretty much the same thickness. There's a little bit of red peeking around here, and I'm not sure if it's just rub the whites rubbing off from transforming it, or if it just needed another pass when they painted it. More black windows, that'll get your fingerprints on it. Lots of riveting uh, detail, and it's very exciting too. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, and then you got the little ladders down here. Uh, white. The wheels, uh, silver painted, there's plastic, plastic rims, I believe they're not rubber. And you've got this hinge here, that's all right. Um, going down the side, you've got your fuel tanks and his hip skirts just hanging out. That's kind of a standard for these Bumblebee Movie Optimuses. Uh, I believe this is like a toolbox. It just rotates to become leg detail. Big old back tires. On the back, you actually have like tail lights and brake lights and this doesn't look too bad down here either so it looks pretty nice from the back of the truck but unless you have this piece in the top of the back of the truck looks like a mess uh it, it doesn't look like fantastic right now but without that you'll see it it's just a gappy mess and then the back of the cab is okay it's clearly not anything that looks like truck but it's not just a completely hollow space either and uh, so it works top of the truck cab is pretty much just panels they line up really well this thing um, I don't even know if that is accurate I think the toy world one had something like this on top but it was like closer to the front 
don't quote me on that. I never got that figure. It, uh, if it's too expensive for the time being or it looks like it's a nightmare to transform, I probably won't get it. I like to, you know, own things that are fun to transform. One of my major issues with the truck mode, though, it's not solid in the back. It's just wiggly, wobbly, and then when you take this part out, it, uh, it's it got a long tab in here that pegs into this hole down in here, and then there's a tab and a slot tab on each of the silver parts and a, a corresponding slot on this bumper stand. You take that out and that's that's your truck bed. It's it's just nothing. There's nothing there. And then it's even more wobbly. But this this accessory isn't just for truck mode. It serves a purpose in robot mode, which I've never used it for, but we'll get into that when we get into robot mode for now. It'll just go with the other accessories. The only other accessories that we can talk about in truck mode are alternate smug stacks. These are more for robot mode and the ones I've installed are for truck mode. I just like them better anyway and they're kind of hard to turn and I don't want it to get from hard to turn to way too loose so I just put those in and I leave them angled the way they are so that in robot mode they'll be sitting on his shoulder and they'll be pointing in towards his head instead of me actually rotating them and then to make him look uh well actually no those are robot mode accessories we'll leave those be so there he is in vehicle mode we'll go ahead and bring in our size comparisons starting off we've got our rubik's cube we've got our gormagala statue we have our bumblebee MPM Bumblebee Volkswagen mode, so you can see uh, how big that is, and just that's about the same size the Transform Element is. So it, it's a pretty big truck. It's not quite to scale. Um, I think in the robot mode, it's even worse, at least from the scale chart I found. And then for the last comparison, here he is with the MPM Bumblebee movie Optimus. He's got the cat ears. There's uh, MGO reviewed a 3d printed kit that fixes that and then the dna design is going to fix that too um, his truck bed isn't pretty but at least there's like some kind of trailer hitch molded onto the feet without extra parts um, and then the side uh, the front is dirty the side is not but other than that the line still matches up and things like that there's a little bit of a gap here but all in all I just enjoy this figure more so that's it for vehicle mode we'll go ahead and try and get him transformed this is my second masterpiece on camera hopefully it goes well I watched my bumblebee review uh, before it was out and it was okay not the best but we'll see what happens alrighty getting him transformed uh, the first thing that I'm gonna focus on is his chest the legs can literally stay like this the whole transformation until the end so the first thing I'm gonna do is just lift this panel up and rotate it and just kind of leave it there and then try and get his shoulder pads out um, now you can try and get a spudger or your fingernail in there but one of the ways that I've done it is I've opened this panel up so you just open it up it's on a hinge here so a double hinge and I, I panel it out, I make it flat and rotate it up so that way the double hinge looks like this and then you can kind of get under here. That edge right there is the bottom of the panel we're trying to get out so you can kind of get under there with your finger, pop it up. So now it's popped up a little bit and then you can get at that part with your fingernail easier. And then we can just leave this down to the side for now because we want it open anyway. Go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Pop the panel. Get up under here with your finger and try and push it up a little bit. It's easier on the other side. I think it, it doesn't have to be up much. As long as it's above the surface, it makes it easier for you to get your fingernail. But I just pushed it back down, so we'll go ahead there. 
I got my nail in there, I popped it up, because what you're getting your nail into is this little seam right here, and if your nail's not long enough or it's pushed in too far, you can't reach it, so you just push it up, reach the seam, and there you go. So now those are out of the way, we're going to pop this panel and this panel out. Okay, we'll wait for those. My, I just clipped my fingernail, so I'm going to try and avoid anything too fingernail heavy. What we can do is come to this panel. We're going to fold this small panel on its double hinge. And then completely collapse this. Uh, we'll push this into place first, or else it's gonna, these are going to get in its way. We'll collapse this. See how it's sitting on top? We would have gotten our own way. We'll go ahead and collapse this the same way. Now, there isn't really a sticking point for these. You can either have it folded so that these are kind of flush, or what I like to do is I like to push it back and just line the front of this part up with the back of this. Because I think that looks nice and then it kind of holds it in place. And then a lot of reviewers I've seen um, make this look more difficult than it is when you're unfolding and folding it. Fold it down, fold it up at the hinge, and then just rotate it apart. So that way it's backwards and then collapse it all. So when they're like opening it up, they're like trying to, to open the whole thing and then rotate this all in together. And so what I do is I just open it like this, rotate it forward to get this tab into place, and then flatten it out and then fold it up. So down, up, rotate, collapse. And then you can fold the steps on it too. Same thing on the other side, pull it out, fold it down, fold it up at the hinge in the center, pull it apart, collapse this double hinge, fold it all together. There are tabs and slots on this, but they don't really hold it into place, it just kind of rests in there, they're not frictioned, so we'll fold that up. And the next thing we're going to do is get his arms out of here, so we'll go ahead and this part of the arm is actually spring loaded so it's pushing down right now so you got to kind of push it up while you're grabbing the front part with your nail or a spudger uh, my nails aren't you know short they're not long but as long as you can just get a grip on that you can rotate that out same thing on the other side rotate his arm out and then it is spring loaded it's trying to go down so you might have to pull up on it to get it out and then back here on the back of the cab these sections here this red with this gray are actually tabbed in underneath uh, the truck I'll show you when I get an arm out it'll be easier to see so untab it and pull it away this tab uh, this slot is where this tab goes into and now that we have one out you can see how that's tapped in there so go ahead and now we can take those little panels from the roof and fold them over and then it already did it for me but collapse it in and that tab that was holding it in place in truck mode is now going to go into his arm and snap into place then you can rotate these panels up and then I wrote the, uh, rotate the arm up this panel, just make sure it's folded open so that way it doesn't bump into anything. And we'll do the same thing on this side, where we'll unpeg it, rotate it out, fold this flap over, fold this in and peg it in, and then rotate his arm up. And that's all I'm going to do with the arms for the time being. Now comes the fun part, is the chest. It's not that bad going from truck to robot, but from robot to truck it can be a little fiddly. We're going to pull up. Like you gotta push things past things. It flexes, it's not, it doesn't feel like it's gonna break, but you wanna pull up because these little gunmetal parts are resting behind here. And then you're gonna fold his window open. And then you're gonna basically keep it pulled up because you're gonna rotate his head panel around and the ears are gonna try and run into this section of the grill. So you just kind of pull that up. And then these flaps in here, if I can get the flap. There, these in here are going to rotate out and the windows might collide with it. So kind of angle them in, rotate it out and then angle them back. So angle the window in, get in here, get the flap, rotate it out and angle the window back out of your way. 
and then we're going to separate the sides of the front of the truck from the grill and just push that up these little silver panels will fold in and they'll start doing it for you when you disconnect them and just put that up under his head uh, panel for now then rotate the front of the truck around so that you can see his robot mode back detail and fold those down to the side once you have everything lined up they'll fold pretty easy and then you can take his chest and fold it together for now these mirrors will follow the chest so when you close the chest the mirrors are going to open up um, and they're going to do that throughout the whole thing if I have to open it again so I'm just going to leave them out and then I'll put them in once everything's ready coming here to his waist we're going to take this gray panel in here and fold it out and then we're going to rotate these side sections around so that way everything lines up the side and the front of his chest and then we're going to fold the steps back forward for now so we have them like this it's the steps we're folding them forward disconnect the sides from the center section and then in there you can see a big old tab and clip and you're gonna disconnect that and this whole section that we just untabbed is going to, to rock back on a double hinge and then fold forward while you're doing it and this is getting big so I'm gonna raise my camera up oops so we got our camera raised up we're gonna fold this stuff forward open his windows up and then what's going to happen here is his waist is going to plug in. There's a tab here on each side, these little gray things right next to these red stripes or tabs. And they're going to sit behind. I'm colliding. There we go. That part went in. And they're going to sit behind the front of the chest like that. And then the steps can be folded up. And then you're gonna take these side panels and this big old tab is gonna go down underneath this hinge, push it in, make sure you squeeze it in there tight so that it's flush. Same thing on the other side, get that pushed in. And then for his back, you can leave it straight like this, but I like to angle them a little bit. So that way the front of this panel here where you can see the white paint is kind of sitting over the silver that was the front of the truck. So that way his back is kind of, the angle of these parts kind of matches the angle of these parts. And then now that that's all done and folded together, we can close his windows for the final time and we can get his mirrors folded in. And then we can just rotate his waist. We'll get his legs sorted out and then we'll go back up for the arms. So for the legs, lower my camera we are going to separate them they're pegged together with these sections in the middle and they're also pegged together on the bottom so separate them and then to transform his leg first of all rotate the toolbox forward so that way you have the detail on the side of his leg then you can lift this panel up there's a slot that tabs in down here. Rotate the taillight section and there's a slot right here. And there's a tab on the taillight section that's going to peg in. And then you're going to rotate the foot down on this hinge here, but the heel's kind of getting in the way. So you got to rotate down or no up rotate up and you want to pull it out at the same time so you're going to be going up into the center mass of the truck to pull it out and then rotate it on this hinge around into place this little blue panel here on the bottom is going to fold out on two hinges and there's a little port here that the bottom panel is going to plug into then this inner panel 
there's a little port in it that's going to plug onto the peg on the other side. And then the two tabs beside the light fixture are going to tab into two tabs on the leg panels and that's going to hold the leg into place. We'll go ahead and do that again on the other side and then we'll worry about his gas tanks. So pull this up, fold this, tab it into place, rotate the foot up and towards the center of the truck so you can get it out of there. Then we're going to rotate this little panel down and pull the whole thing out. There's a peg that's going to go into a port on his leg. And then the center panel is going to fold down and there's also a port and a peg that's going to secure that together. Then you've got your two slots on his shin component that are going to go into pegs on the leg, the leg we have built. All right, and then we'll come around to the back of the legs, kind of move this out so you can pull the back of his thigh down. Then you're going to rotate the hip armor out, kind of push things past things, rotate the gas tank in, and then cover it up with the thigh, the back of the thigh, and then rotate the armor down. So pull the thigh out, rotate the armor out, fold the gas tank in, fold the back of the thigh in, hold the armor down, and there we have his legs all done. He has got very loose ankles, so I'm going to go ahead and lay him down so I can raise the camera up again, because he is tall. Transform his arms, just open this panel, flip out his hand, fingers are also very loose that's one of the reasons why I'm getting rid of his figures because he's and it, it's not anything I did he was just rushed out he was loose when you plug it plug the arm back in there's a tab on this panel that's going to go between two tabs on his forearm to act like a slot rotate his hand straighten his arm out I forgot to fold this up earlier and then just maneuver his shoulder piece into place same thing on the other side and open the panel, rotate his hand out, fold the panel shut, make sure that the tab goes between the other tabs, rotate his wrist, bend his elbow, put his shoulder into place, and then fold the shoulder armor down. And then we have Fire Scorpion, aka Commander Leader, in robot mode, and I'm gonna hopefully he'll stand for me. I'm probably going to have to hold him throughout everything. But there's his head. His eyes are blue. Um, they kind of look dead. And it's because if you come to the back of his head, there is a little tiny black switch that you can shift over. If I can get it. There we go. And then his eyes are lit up. Uh, my brother also got this figure and his LED function was broken so that the lights were always on For some reason they never really turned off and his battery's like half dead, but there's his eyes I'll go ahead and turn them off There we go um, A lot you got some like painted rusty brown detail in there um, Lots of molded detail on top of the paint. There's some gun metal side of his head I'm trying to show you guys here there we go some gun metal at the side of his head um, on the top of his torso you've got lots of details that were revealed when we folded those flaps over um, circular detail on the arms I put the Autobot stickers on him so he won't come with those more of that brown rusty detail on the smokestacks and like I said you can turn these but I don't want to because they're really tight so I'm just leaving them as is um, and then you've got paint on the side, you've got paint on the forearms going down through, there's some gold, there's the yellow uh, arrow and stripes, blue fan, blue hands, lots of detail on the inner arms, 
all kinds of molded and painted details on the torso. Um, going all the way down through. His thighs are painted, but there's a lot of paint rubbing on his thighs and his shoulders flaps. It was not applied very well, or it's not a paint that's very sturdy. Um, going all the way up, holding him up here, you can see there's more rusted details and lots of paint, blue paints and grays and silvers, all kinds of paint here. Bottom of his feet are molded in to look like treads. I'm turning them around, going up the back of the legs, just lots of more, lots more paint, lots more details. Cleans up really, really well. Um, these gray bits are parts of the front of the truck, right here. But uh, other than that, this is all just detail revealed for robot mode. Um, no real kibble hanging off his arms like in the MPM and the Studio Series version. Um, and then you've got uh, the back of his head that even has paint on it, which they didn't have to do. Just lots of paint on this guy. There he is from the side. So you can see all the details going down his arm. See how it's, you can see the gas tank through here, but it just looks like part of his leg wheels um, and then as far as accessories go you do get four of these little wheel pieces that you plug into his leg wheels to make him look like he's Cybertron Optimus uh, but you didn't get two for the front wheels for vehicle mode so I usually just put them and the extra smokestacks back in the baggie with the instructions get instructions no collector card in there that I can tell I never actually took the instructions out so if it's folded up inside of there there you go so I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in the bag now I'm going to show his accessories more than I'm going to try to plug them in because he just doesn't like to hold things his articulation is so loose on his fingers and then uh, on his gun they molded in the trigger part but his fingers don't really spread wide enough to go around it. So here's that trailer hitch that we discussed earlier. You can actually fold open. Ooh. Oh, that's tight. I don't know if I want to fold this. Anyway, this would fold down. The gun handle would plug in here. And then you could fold legs out of this. And it would become kind of like a, a tripod for the gun to shoot itself or like a turret if i rotate down real quick it only comes up to here so it's not like you'd be able to man it it'd have to like turn his gun into an automatic turret and that's that he also comes as i get this folded up he also comes with a giant axe that's pretty cool Clear plastic with that gunmetal gray painted plastic. I don't know if the clear plastics are individual components or if it's all painted. It looks like they're their own component because there's a seam line here in the axe. So they're probably their own thing wedged in there. It just looks really cool. I just wish he could hold it better. And then there's a circular peg here that goes into this hole in his back so he can look really cool carrying it around on his back and then you've got his ion blaster if he'll stay standing his ion blaster here it looks really nice it's got lots of nice paint on it almost looks like some scuffing scraping battle damage and he holds it with the tab in the palm of the slot method. Um, there's no way to store it in robot mode other than putting it on that turret. Um, you can take the clip out and there's a little painted bullet in there. And it does have an LED function 
there's a little switch back here like he had on his head so you just flip it down oh it looks like my batteries are no longer working but you would flip down and it would have an LED um, now go ahead and remove his accessories and then we'll get into some size comparisons uh, which is going to be a little difficult uh, zoomed out pretty far so I'm just gonna have to try and get his head into the top of the frame and for the smaller stuff just angle down that might be good enough anyway we'll we'll see if that's good enough alrighty we'll bring in the Rubik's Cube yeah we're gonna have to angle that down even more maybe if I back that up so there you can see it sitting next to him kind of he's so tall there we'll, we'll have it next to his feet he's very big we'll go ahead and bring in the Gormagala statue down there next to his feet uh, we'll go ahead and rotate the camera up and bring it down a little bit because now we are going to bring in the Transcraft Bumblebee you can see how tall he is he is just way too tall for that Bumblebee Bumblebee should be coming up somewhere about here at the head and he is below his waistline and then just leave Bumblebee in frame so we can see the MPM 12 the Bumblebee is coming up much closer let me rotate this so you can actually see yeah definitely not the best scale with this Bumblebee which is one of the reasons I like this guy better I also like him better because his windows are angled like they're supposed to be and he just he just looks cool I don't mind his truck cat ears for now and I'm not going to display them like this so I don't mind those on his arms I just I like him better so he's going to stay and uh, that's pretty much it for commander leader just wanted to get the review out before I didn't have him anymore he is so big and he's got die cast so he is heavy so this was just it was a chore trying to get him reviewed um so I apologize and with his joints and stuff I'm not going to try and get him in a dynamic pose I'm not going to try and have him hold his weapon he's just his fingers and stuff are so loose and and looking at his gun you can see that all oh, one finger is up here and the rest are down here but they didn't make the the finger hinge so that way it could you know sit up there so just again I apologize that I didn't do any of that stuff but he's just he's too loose too big for me to really get uh, that kind of stuff done um, after this video my schedule should be pretty much where it's supposed to be um, so Monday before this was the black arachnia before that was transform element before that was Cheetor. after this review it's gonna be a deluxe size figure ish on Mondays and a Voyager or bigger on Fridays for now two a week filming schedule we'll see how that works it might change it might not uh, it depends on if i'm starting to run out of figures before i get more figures anyway thanks for watching and okay everyone uh back at the end of the view just editing this in um i spent so much time talking about how loose his articulation was but i didn't actually cover any of it so real quick we'll go ahead um his head is on a ball joint you can look up and down tilt full 360 rotation at the head his shoulders are on universals and they can shift way down and way up for like transformation purposes they can move forward and back on a blutter butterfly a butterfly joint rotate 360 degrees you've got the so what the bicep you've got single jointed elbow get you 90 degrees you've got wrist rotation Hands are individually articulated, but they are loose. Every finger has got two pins and a ball joint, I believe, at the knuckle. It doesn't spread far enough to fit his gun. And then his thumb is the ball joint at the knuckle. Oh, no. 
couldn't see any of that. All right, let's redo that where you can actually see it. So he's got a ball joint at each knuckle on his fingers with two pins for each finger. And then his thumb is a single ball joint with a single pin hinge. Um, he's got waist swivel. He's got an ab crunch that actually works really well. He's got universal hips that are ratcheted forward, ratcheted back. The flaps will move out of the way. And then loose out to the side, just falls down. Uh, we've got a ratcheted knee, gets you slightly over 90 degrees in his ratcheted knee. And then coming even further down. For ankle articulation, he's got a pivot. He's got uh, up and down, no side to side, but you've got thigh swivel for that. And that's his uh, articulation. I'm just going to edit this in at the end of the video because I forgot about it because articulating him is no fun because he doesn't want to stand very well. Um, I'm surprised he's staying up right now. Anyway, I'll go ahead and bring the camera back up here and we'll go ahead and close off the video. So again, thanks for tuning in. This video is just kind of being rushed out um, and I am sorry for the quality of it, but this video and I believe the Shudor video I forgot to cut between the end of the transformation and the beginning of the details. So in order to get the different music in I had to take the vial and I had to try and cut the end off of it and then cut the front off of it into two different parts and then try and get them to meet in the middle um, so I could add the music in the right way. So if they're a little jumpy I apologize uh, from here on out I'm hoping to avoid that issue. Anyway, thanks again and if you liked the video go ahead and give it a like um, if you like my other content in this subscribe to the channel the videos usually aren't quite this much of a mess anymore I'm trying to improve still and uh, if you want to be notified when a video I make comes up go ahead and ring the bell and goodbye